Hey guys, it's Vimeo91, and I'm talking about EA. Yes, haven't talked about EA in a while, but apparently there was an article released, and someone from EA was like, didn't understand why EA kind of has the reputation of being the bad guys, right? Yeah, well, back in the day, back in like the 90s and even early millennia, and early millennia actually, EA was the company, okay? EA was like, when you saw that EA logo, you're like, oh yeah, this probably could be a good game. I remember even EA Sports, it's in the game. That used to be a great starting for their sports games. And so much of their sports games were so good. To me, the first time when I think EA kind of started to be known as this company that maybe wasn't all that good was when they stopped people from playing multiplayer games if you bought the game used. That was the thing because at the time used games were selling really well. GameStop was doing really well in the used games compartment. So a lot of people were like, wait a minute, so if I buy these games used, I can't play online? What? And I think that's when EA started to be looked upon maybe in some sort of a negative light. It didn't get any better with the microtransactions and with the loot boxes, right? But here's the thing. Personally, I don't think EA are the bad guys. And I don't really think that they're much different from other publishers. But I do believe the difference is that EA is more in your face with the microtransactions and the loot boxes. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Battlefront 2 was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back because the loot boxes were intricate so much into the actual playing system, I believe, that people were just like, no, we're done, we're done, we're done. And, and yes, about them releasing Anthem like when it wasn't finished, People could say, oh yeah, that's really bad, but other publishers have done that, like with Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Unity, with Bethesda and Fallout 76. So I can't say that they're the worst publishers, and I can't say that they are the bad guys, but what they do is they push harder, I believe, than anyone else does. They're more out there than other people are. Now, NBA 2K doesn't get the same amount of negativity for having what are essentially loot boxes in their games either, but EA does, because EA pushes harder than anyone else, I believe. They push it, they like push it in your face, like loot boxes, microtransactions. They kind of just push it right there. And it's only a matter of time before gamers started pushing back. And Battlefront 2, like I said, was the straw that broke the camel's back. Gamers really started to push back. So that's the thing with EA to me. It's not to me that they are the bad guys or whatnot. They're just more out with it than anybody else, I feel like. Which kind of sucks, because based on my childhood and also part of my adult life, EA, was the company. EA was a company, when that game came out, you was buying that game, you was excited for that game. But now, even when EA releases a game that seems to have a good concept and people get skeptical, they're like, huh, how are they gonna in introduce loot boxes? How are they gonna introduce microtransactions? And it's sad. What do you guys think about EA? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.